me pissing about with an A flat harmonica, um, more of a kind of drill thing than a musical playing. Um, and if you haven't guessed already, this is this video is about um, hand positions. Now I'm pretty tired uh, for some reason today. Um, maybe it's all these videos, but um, hopefully we can get through. I, th I think it's a fairly simple thing and a thing like most things with harmonica that requires practice um, but the good thing about it is that hand position you can practice anywhere really um, I mean it's good to get into the habit of keeping a harmonica on you pretty much at all times um, well it's, no it's not it's, it, it's, it's, it's fun just in case somebody's got a guitar um, but yeah, you. I mean, what you can do if you've got one on you and you're on the train or or sitting on the beach or whatever, um, get it out and you don't have to play it if you don't feel comfortable playing it. Um, you can just practice holding it, which is is hugely important. Um, I mean, you you can play a lot just by just holding the harmonica like that. Um, but certainly for blues music having a, a a good hand position is 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 valuable um <coughs> okay so we got c harmonica here um what makes a good hand position there's only really one two things that make a good hand position i think three maybe uh the first being having enough for your lip enough room for your lips um you want to get the harmonica as deep into your mouth as possible and still get the single notes um, that's entirely up to you how how far that can go into your mouth and still get the, the notes um, the second is having an airtight seal um, on it because with it, if you haven't got the airtight seal on it then you're not going to get much of a wah effect or, or or any kind of muted effect so if you play sort of loosely see, see that kind of hole there then you're not going to get much much wire out of it but if you if you play it if you hold it nice and tight and airtight then you can get a, a great wire sound on it so there's, there's no no hole there Um, so there's a big difference, um, and again, it, it just requires practice. So, how do you hold it? Um, I've tried a, f a, a lot of different ways, um, but I think the standard is not how I do it. But the, the standard is to find get the harmonica so that your fingers are equidistant along the harmonica, and push it as far into your hand as possible. I mean, you can't see anything past that. There's no, there's no gaps or holes uh, there at all, really. Um, and then what you do is you get your other hand and you clasp it around so that you're making a kind of seashell shape with your hand there. <laughs> so it's pretty much airtight. I don't find that particularly comfortable. Um, I prefer a much, much tighter cup where I hold my thumb over the kind of eight, nine holes um, and you get a, for me, it, it's just more comfortable because I have silly sausage hands. But um, So the, the, those are two, two of the, the most important things. Um, and the third is is being able to, I mean, you you could you could hold it like that and get an airtight. You could hold, you could really clasp it, but you wouldn't have the flexibility to open and close, or have some kind of vibrato effect. Um, and that's quite important. You need to be able to um, quickly open, quickly close, as as you want it. Um, and I think a lot of people seem to skip 
the fact. I mean, it's quite a revelation for me that if you're if you're if you've got a kind of standard, let's let's try the standard kind of approach. If you lift your little finger, you're only that you're only opening it a tiny, t- excuse me, tiny little bit, and that's different to doing that. So you you would get. Rather than, I mean, I know it's pretty simple, but but nobody else seems to seems to explain it. So, having having two varieties of um, opening of that airtight seal is, or more, I guess, um, I think it's quite useful. Um, I mean, for example, if you if you play a like a, a quicker riff. Like, There's a couple of notes in there that you might not want to to wah completely, but you might just want to give a little a little nuance to by flicking open your fingers and and giving it a little wah. Like. So there, there, there's quite a difference. Um, and so so those are the, the three most important things. Um, and I think for me certainly. Practice practicing off the harmonica, um, like you know, when you're anywhere, just trying to practice getting that, getting a an airtight seal, and finding how it feels. Maybe like blowing into your hands and seeing if you can blow them up like a balloon, or seeing where where the air escapes or what have you. Um, that that kind of helped me, like finding where the air escapes and and kind of clasping your hand so that you can kind of tweak it so that it doesn't um, because it's very very small um, changes um, and then and then drills I think just just playing any your favorite riffs this is a, a flat I really like this harmonic actually um, just finding a riff and and then doing it with the with a wah Is I'm feeling really lazy today. <coughs> okay, it's probably the best way that I found of drilling it. Um, I never found it particularly useful to to just do one note and and do that. Just it, um, didn't seem particularly valuable to me. Um, the other thing which is, it, I think is easy. Once you've got the airtight seal, is is the like a vibrato effect. And there's loads of ways of doing that. You can really slap it, um, or you can just feather it gently. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're all nuances of play of uh, playing the harmonica. Um, I think that's 